Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on scientific computing using MATLAB. So today we will also continue from the numerical differentiation we have started in the previous lecture. So let us uh, continue with the numerical differentiation. So in the previous lecture we have discussed the new, that how we can use the Newton methods that we used in the interpolation to find out the derivative of the function at some value in between the given values. Now we will continue with this one. Today we will discuss the various numerical differentiation formulas. Like we have the data points, so this is my x0, x1, x2 up to xn, so this is the n plus 1 number of points. and the value of the function is given to me. Now suppose I have this only this data and I want to find out the derivative of the function at any point in between. So I will use, I will try to find out the various numerical differentiation formulas. Now this one we are doing, so this is I am talking about equispaced data. So I have x i plus 1 minus x i that is equal to h. Now, so let us take this is x i, this is x with the now using Taylor series, we can write f at any x i plus h. So, this one I can take any constant value plus h. So, this one I can write as x i plus h f dash at x i. second derivative x i and so on. So, this one I take as a 1. Similarly, I can find x i minus h. So, this one I am doing as a forward and this is a backward. So, this one I can write x i plus This is the question number 2. Now, now I want to write the forward. So, from equation 1, I know that this f x i plus h that is equal to f at x i plus 1. So, this is equal to f i plus 1 right. So, this is basically if I write x i, y I can write y i plus 1 that is equal to f i plus 1. Similarly, y i. So, at the nodal points, y i is equal to f x i. this one I, I know that one. So, from here this can be written as f i plus h. Now, this is the value f dash x i Now, from here I will take this term on the left hand side. So, once I take these terms, I will get these values only. And now, I take the common value that is h. So, it becomes f dash x i plus h by 2 factorial 
f double dash xi plus now h square by 3 factorial f triple dash xi and so on. From here I can divide by hi, so I will get f i plus 1 minus f i that is equal to h and now from here if you see then I will get the term f dash x plus all these terms. So all these terms it will contain the value of h then h square. So since h is very small, we choose h very small, so h is very very small then the higher order terms can be neglected, can be ignored because the higher terms will be very small. So these terms will be very small as compared to this term, next term will be very small. So from here I can write that this one can be written as h by 2 factorial f double dash x i plus other terms negligible terms. Now from here now this is a function so I take the maximum of this one so from here I know that this can be written as so my f dash x so this is f dash x at i it can be written as f i plus 1 minus f i by h and this term. So this is a the terms we have neglected and I take this term. So this will be minus h by 2 and then I take f dash some xi where xi I choose between x i to x i plus 1. So from here I can say that my function f dash x i the derivative of the function at x i is equal to f i plus 1 minus f i by h plus the error term is of order h. So from this is the, the same as we have done for the forward operator. So I am taking the value of the function at i, i plus 1 minus f i divided by h and this is I know that the derivative is of order h. Similarly, we can find backward operator. So I can use the previous one. So using this one, I, the same way I will go fx minus h, it will take on the left side, I will take the minus sign and so on. So, from equation 2, I can, so from equation 2, we can write f i minus 1, f i minus f i minus 1, at x i plus the terms order of h because everything will be same in this case. So every, all the terms I will take on the left hand side then I will take the negative sign divided by h. So the same thing will happen what we have done just now. So from here I can write that that my first order backward difference operator is of order h. So this one we can write down. Now, so this is of order h, now I want to write the higher order, now I want to define central center difference operator. So subtract equation 2 from equation 1. 
so I can write function at x i plus h minus f x i minus h. So, this I have written because I am just subtracting 2 from 1. So, this will cancel out and I will get this value. So, from here I will get 2 h f dash x i. Now, this will now again this will cancel out and this will be 2 times of this one. and so on. So, from here I can write this as f x i plus h minus f x i minus h and now I take the 2 h common from here. So, that would be 2 h is equal to f dash x i plus. So, I have taken the 2 and h. So, it will be h square by 3 factorial. all other terms. So, next term will contain h cube, h 4 and all the terms. Now, from here the, the same way I can define that all the terms after this the these terms are as h is very very small. So, I can ignore all the terms. So, from here I can write that my f dash x i thus the first derivative at the point x i can be written as f i plus 1. So, this is this value minus f i minus 1 the previous value divided by 2 h plus this is h square by 3 factorial 6 and this one I can write as some xi. So, from here I will get the central difference operator for the first derivative. Now, from here you can see that in this case my error is of order h square. So, from here I can say that in this case the error is of order h square. So, order of h square. So, when h is small, so in that case the error is very very small. So, this is I can say that center difference method will be better for finding out the first derivative for the given data. So, this is the way we can drive the first derivative. Even we can drive the second derivative also. So, this is the three first derivative we have defined. Now, I have used the Taylor series methods to find the first derivative at the value x i using the forward operator, using the backward and in the central. So, the no, now the question comes that can we use other points also to neighborhood points to find out the approximation for the first order derivative. So, for that one we have the method that is called undetermined coefficient. So, in this case this is the method of undetermined coefficient. So, sometime we we are interested to devise a derivative or differential formula consisting consisting
consisting at consisting of some specific coordinates. Like suppose I have my data is given to me and suppose this is my x i, this is x i plus 1, x i plus 2, x i plus 3, x i minus 1, x i minus 2. So, now suppose we want, so we want to use the values corresponding to suppose this value and this value and I want to use this value. So, I want to devise a formula for the first order derivative which contains only these values means value of y at x i, value of y at x i plus 1 and value of y at x i plus 3 and I do not want to use the value of this one, this one and this one. So, basically I want to find value of f dash at x i as a the value at x i plus b x i plus 1 and c 3. So, this one can you can also write as a f at x i plus h b f at x i this is x i value. x i three h. So, let us take it one. Now, I want to find the value of this constant that is called the undetermined coefficient. So, this constant I want to find out and then I will be able to get the value of the first order derivative for the given nodal points. Now, we know that f at x i plus h can be written as using Taylor series. So, let us take it 2. Similarly, this can be written as 3 h f dash x i Now, substitute equation 2 and 3 in 1. So, I can write from here a f at x i plus b and I can write this way. plus c by 2 factorial f double dash x i and so on. So, now this is the expression final expression we get. Now, from here I can collect the terms corresponding to f x i. Then I can collect the terms corresponding to f dash x i and so on. Now, from here I can write that I can write this function as f x i is equal to 
So, I am collecting the terms corresponding to fxi. So, that will come from all. So, this will be a plus b plus c f at xi plus. Now, I want to collect the terms corresponding to f dash. So, if I take the f dash, it will be, so this will be a, no not a, this will be b plus 3c into h f dash xi plus the same way I can define from here. So, b plus 9c, so this is a 9. xi and so on. Now, <clears throat> now equating the coefficients of same terms both sides. So, from here I can say that I have the left hand side and that contains only f dash and the right hand side this one and this is true for all x i. So, from here I can say that a plus b plus c that will be 0 and b plus 3 c that will be 1 and b plus 9 c that will be equal to 0. The corresponding to the the terms this h square f double dash. So, the, the coefficient will be 0. This is the coefficient that will be 1. So, I need the 3 equations. So, from this 3 equation if you solve then from this 2 equation I will subtract. So, I will get c is equal to minus 1 by 6. If I put c is equal to minus 1 by 6 here I will get my b is equal to half to this 3 by 2. So, this will be 3 by 2 and then my a will be minus b plus c and that is 4 by 3. So, from here I am able to find this value of a, b and c. So, that gives me that my f dash at x i can be written as 4 by 3 f at x i plus 3 by 2 f at x i plus 1. So, this is f at x i plus 1 and c minus 1 by 6 f at x i plus 3h. So, that is the expression for the first order derivative that contains 3 points that is f at x i, x i plus h and x i plus 3h. So, this is I also called 3 point formula for first order derivative. So, in this case I can define the same way we can define the first order derivative using the different win points. Somebody maybe somebody is looking for the point So, maybe it happened that somebody is interested in finding the derivative at x i using this point, this point, this point and this point. So, that is the 5 points tensor we have. So, that also we can find out or maybe some other terms. So, with the help of Taylor series we can find out any value of the, the derivative of the function at any point x i using the neighborhood points 
that are given to us as a terms of data. So that we can do with the help of the method of undetermined coefficients. Now, if you want to see that how this uh, different different type of expression for the derivatives are helpful. So, this one I can uh, represent with the help of uh, the figure. So, suppose I have this function. Well, this function is some function is given to me like this one and the value of the function is given to me at x i next value is given to me at this at x i plus 1 next is previous one was given to me at x i minus 1 suppose I take this value. Now if you see at this point the derivative of this so this is my derivative the real derivative. So, this is my d y d x at x is equal to x i. Now, what I am doing? First, I am approximating this derivative. Suppose, I am doing the forward operator. So, this value and this value I am taking. So, I take this value and this value. So, that is the triangle we are going to have. So, in this case at this point I have x i plus 1 at y i plus 1 this is the point we have x i plus 1 and this is y i. So, if I take this value then I will representing f dash at x i I am representing by the value of the function at x i plus 1 minus f at x i divided by h. So, if you see this one that is the basically tangent of this angle this divided by this. So, this is of order h. Now, the same way if I am doing this one with the backward formula. So, I am taking this value and this value. So, from here you can see that considering this value. Now, using the backward I am having x i that is equal to f at x i minus f at x i minus 1 divided by h and that is of order h also. So, that is the if you see this is the triangle. So, f x i minus f x i minus 1 and divided by this value. Now, if I take the central scheme. So, in the central scheme if I want to so, I have this point and this point. So, I am taking the line connecting this point and from here I will get f dash at x i is equal to minus of f x i minus 1 divided by 2 h and this is of order h square. So, you can see that this code seems is parallel to this tangent. So, that is why we can say that this center scheme or the central uh, finite difference is order of h square and it give going to give you a more accurate value as compared to the forward finite difference or the backward finite difference. So, that is the way we can approximate the derivative of the function at any nodal value x i with the help of forward, backward or the central. So, this is the way we can have the approximation. So, let me stop here today. So, today we have discussed uh, how we can define the forward operator, the backward operator or the central difference operator for the first order derivative and then we have also discussed that how we can use the method of undetermined coefficient to devise a formula for the first order derivative using the other nodal points, the neighborhood nodal points. So, we will continue with this one in the next lecture. So, thanks for watching, uh, thanks very much. Thank you.